What's up, Fish Tank people? Dustin's Fish Tank's bringing it to you on a Sunday, baby. How's everybody doing? I hope you're doing well. In today's video, we're gonna talk about fire and water and how it relates to growing plants in your aquarium. So it hit me the other day when I was looking at this ficus. This ficus took a beating when old man winter hit. Uh, I'm not good at above water plants, but you can see some of the leaves on this plant got beat up. What happened? The days got shorter and shorter and shorter. The days got colder and colder and colder and slowly old man winter hurt my big beautiful ficus. You can see this clip here of how it was looking during the summertime, okay? Then what happened? We got past the winter solstice and the sun came out more and more and more. It gets hotter and hotter and hotter and the sunlight powered through and now this thing is getting way more light and is doing way better and we have changed nothing. The only thing that has happened is an increase in light and this ficus is doing way better. Light can power you through other things that are lacking. Let's bring this into your aquarium. Now let's pull this into your aquarium, okay? You are trying to get light down through the nasty algae filament ridden water into your light craving. Give me more light. The more light I get, the more I will grow plants at the bottom of your aquarium, okay? It's called the inverse squared law. For every unit of measure you move away from a light source, you exponentially lose light. Think of it like a fire, okay? Tiny little Bic lighter fire is not gonna heat up your hand. You might burn your thumb, but it's not gonna really burn you or put off a whole lot of heat. Conversely, you get a big old bonfire going. The heat radiates like crazy. You could heat up a whole bunch of little Boy Scouts around there. The closer you get to a big burning fire, the warmer it gets, the further you step away, the cooler it gets and the less heat you get. Same deal with light. You're gonna come at me with, I got a 400 gallon tank and it's 36 inches deep. Guess what? That's gonna be a ridiculously hard tank to light. You're gonna struggle because you have to go through 36 inches of water to get down to the bottom. And by the time you get to the bottom, that light has been so diffused, it's not gonna be as strong when it gets to the plants. You take those same lights and put it on a six inch tank, you can grow anything under the sun. It's about the sun, people. Either you're using it or you're imitating it. By the way, plants like peaks in the red and in the blue in the spectral composition of the light. By the way, the red part doesn't travel as far into the water, so you're gonna need a lot more red to get that red in your plants. Let me know about your lights, folks. Tank on.